Well, there's something you don't see every day. The Columbus Castaway Destination Series Travel Trailer coming into us here at Advantage One RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan, just down the street from Halet RV, our sister store. This is where we sell RVs on behalf of their owners, but don't worry about all that. As far as you're concerned, it's just another really cool looking used RV where we still do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. If what you're looking for is a big, sharp looking thing to park somewhere and use it for destination or seasonal camping, if you're looking for us just to deliver something somewhere, you don't even need a tow vehicle. Or if you are perhaps a little bit of a handy capable person, this could very well uh, serve some folks who have otherwise limited mobility. Check this thing out. So other than the fact that this has a bumper towing hitch, it's basically a fifth wheel in every way. We're wider, we're taller, uh, we're, we're bigger. It's a quad slide. It has uh, you know uh, two slides in the living room, as you can see. King bed slide in the middle, although there's a queen mattress on it currently, but king capable, no big deal there. And a slide in the bathroom for the sink and vanity area to open even that up. It makes everything, like every doorway is large. And that includes the main entry door. And that's part of where I said this could be very handy capable, I think is the best way of saying it. Because it does still have steps, you have those more ride quad steps. I don't see why you couldn't apply a chair lift to this, but you see how wide that entry door is? That I, I didn't measure it, but it's gotta be close to 40 inches wide. That is chair width. So you can get through the entire RV, even if you're you know in a uh, chair, you have crutches, something like that. If you got a little hitch in your giddy up, this is one where you could still go and enjoy the RV lifestyle. And frankly, it would work for anybody. You know, I, I'm just saying that that is a very rare opportunity. There's not a lot of RVs that are, are well suited for folks with various uh, mobility limitations. And I think that this is one that could really, really serve a, a rather underserved segment of the market very well. I don't expect this to last long. There's a lot of people who just want something really nice, but they're not going to tow it, you know. Uh, again, even if you're just looking for something for seasonal living or something like that, holy cow. You got the direct facing entertainment center here with just the jumbotron television staring you right down in the face above the electric space heating fireplace. That is the Furion variety, meaning it has a heat sensor on, or pardon me, a proximity sensor. If you stand too close to it, it'll quit producing heat. So let's say you've got like a little grandbaby or a dog in front of it. You're not going to like accidentally burn them or hurt them. This is really primarily intended for destination use. So I think the residential fridge is uh, you know, a good fit for this type of application where it's not really mobile, where it's going to kind of sit in place most of the time. But look at the island, look at the kitchen. Like the living room and the kitchen, they just kind of give way to one another so seamlessly. And with this big, what is a seven foot tall, I think ceiling, maybe a little bit bigger. I haven't tape measured it, but big ceiling. And dual whisper air, by the way. Both air conditioners are whisper ducted. This is late model. It has not been used a great deal. It is in fantastic condition. And I'm a sucker for this thing right here. The accent lighting. Like, if you're just looking at the chairs and that little serving bar and that front window, that feels like a little tropical destination vacation getaway. Like, if there was like an aquarium hanging off, like if you could look at fish underwater through that front window, that would be like one of the coolest little like vacation experiences. But here you have it every single day in this RV. You've still got dedicated prep space. You got the elevated dining. You can have people sitting at this just monster seating arrangement right here, big old plush job, while still having people over here, either at the dining table or the bar, while everybody can still be involved in the entertainment, and you even have an extra little guest space over here. This is unlike anything else. This is, I get so like washed out on seeing the same RV all day, every day. And I love the RV industry. I love what I do. This is so much fun. The whole point of this business is having fun and having a good time. And I start to really have fun and a good time when I get to see somebody do it a little different, look at it a bit different. I don't believe this would ever be the highest volume thing, but you're not buying it at full RV, you know, new RV price tag. 
you're saving a mint on this thing in the used market right here. And <laughs> frankly, good for you folks. This is awesome. I was actually a little surprised given everything else that's over the top in this RV. See that that wasn't convection, but the good news, uh, not everybody cares about a convection microwave. And if you are looking for one, they made it large enough. It is very convection capable. So eh, no big deal there. I mean, considering you could get a convection microwave and throw it in here and still be thousands less than a brand new one of these, <laughs> I'd say you're doing just fine. And I was really kind of curious with the way that this is so opened up and opposing slides in front kitchen, like I was wondering like, how are they going to handle the storage here? But overall, I think they did pretty well. I think they actually did very well. Uh, if you look at all the stuff here, there's, you know, good drawer space on both sides of the sink. We've got like the dual pantries with overhead storage. I'm in love with that front little, I'm going to call it the porthole, not even a window. You know, it feels like we're in a submarine. Feels like we're in a spaceship or something. This is cool. Solid surface counters throughout. I really should have flipped open one of these. Just a moment. So you can see these stainless sink. You got to say it like that. Stainless. Anyway. <laughs> Again, drawers on both sides of the sink. Uh, big wastebasket space there. She's different. But she is fun. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me back up. I <laughs> totally forgot about this thing. We got more storage yet. Because they didn't have to bury the sink into the island and leave this wide open, that means that you just have more storage and more prep space. And I am actually starting to see manufacturers slowly go back to that. I don't think we're going to see sinks ever go away from islands, but I am seeing uh, more and more models built with like a sink against a kitchen bathroom shared wall and leaving the island open for just pure prep space. Now, another thing they did here that a lot of people appreciate who are a little more discerning, and if you're looking at an RV like this, I believe you are more of a discerning buyer, they opted for full storage overhead in the slide-out. That's a classic thing in, in high-end old fifth wheels you just don't see very much anymore, and I'm really glad to see it here. Now, the table is uh, you know all free-floating, so if you want to pivot that, turn that 90 degrees, you can extend it for extra space you can. There's a pair of dual fold-away guest chairs that you'll see in the back. I don't know, but I don't believe that's the original sofa. And if it is, that might not be an original chair over there. That kind of one and a half sort of love seat be a perfect place to kind of sit with your a little lap dog next to you, you know, because the fabrics are a little different, but they don't look bad. Everything in this looks really nice together. Um, this slide is about, let's see, I'd say about 6'3 tall. And I say that because it's just, just big enough to fit me. But I can walk all the way through this slide and never hit my head. So I'm good with that. Anytime I got a no head knocker, I'm, I'm in, you know, pretty happy camper. Um, again, a good look at the entertainment here. Very social. Like, you got a cool little conversation corner over here, too. I like I, I like the differences going on here. Oh, more storage. So over here, this is kind of where your command center would be located. You see the LCI-1 control system there, which can also control the automatic leveling on this, which is nice. So this will be very sturdy and stable at your site. But right when you walk in the door, got ourselves a big coat closet right here, which is pretty darn cool. It is interesting to me. There's a mount for a Furion lit Bluetooth speaker inside of a cabinet, but frankly, very few people ever actually utilize those for the Furion lit Bluetooth speaker. I actually happen to have one. Most people do not. I really like it. I think it's one of the coolest, best portable Bluetooth speakers I've ever seen, and it works very well for the camping lifestyle. I think they're just a very underappreciated thing out there. But now the bedroom. So this is a king bed slide. Previous owners swapped the king bed out for a queen. So you can see where the bed base does stick out a little bit, but that does give you easy views of that all aluminum structure that we're looking at with some nice handy dresser drawers down below. So it's a queen right now, residential queen. It could be residential king, no sweat. And holy cow, guys, windows galore all the way around, even in the bedroom for awesome visibility. Everything opens for airflow. And that sliding privacy door right there to close off the master bathroom. It is absolutely awesome. And in case you're wondering how my reflection is not showing up in the mirror right now, it's because I'm activating my vampiric powers to suppress my reflection. <laughs> um, over around here, too. This is not a, a slide-out opposing the uh, bed, but it feels like it. 
you've got that because there's a very three-dimensional quality you got that full overhead storage space down there and then if you look at the lower cabinet it has a full radius arc to it which makes the whole room look and feel deeper but there's still very good deep dresser store space uh straw drawer storage space yeah there's a new rv nerdism for you another one of my mishmash definitionary words <laughs> um then over here massive spot if you want to put a tv here but i love the windows and like you've got that now that window is heavily tinted that big full window in the entry door but it does have a shade but you could sit here somebody could knock on your door you could be just kind of lounging out checking out whatever's on tv somebody could knock on your door you could peek over and see what's going on although of course you have privacy door here as well and don't forget the fan above now i don't even know how i want to start in the bathroom because this is this is not your father's RV bathroom over here. So this whole vanity station, I mean, look at the floor space. Good gravy. This whole dual sink, almost like home-sized vanity station here. Uh, actually, it's probably bigger than, this bathroom's bigger than a lot of people's in their own homes, now that I'm really thinking about it. It is, it is cool. This is a slide out to our left. That's part of the reason this whole thing looks and feels so, so massive. But windows on everything, or mirrors on everything, makes the whole room look and feel massive. But the storage in this is amazing, and it starts over here on this rear wall. It's incredible. Now, the RV's not exactly level, and those doors kept wanting to swing shut. So, I'm currently shoeless Josh the RV nerd, as my shoes are keeping those doors open. But I want you to really get to see and experience all the storage that's back here. Like, this is great. I mean, it's really deep below those sinks. And because the vanity's in a slide and it's back away from your face, you're not going to hit your head on it if you bend over to spit out your toothpaste. They could make those cabinets nice and deep too. But over here, this is where you could put a combo or stackable washer dryer. There's those two fold away guest chairs like I mentioned. You can see it looks like the previous owners used this as something like a broom closet. That's what those little white clips are, handy little broom holder, which is really smart. But back here, this is like a walk-in closet basically ladies and gentlemen and i mean it quite literally like you can truly walk in here peek around the corner like you've got dresser shelving space you've obviously got hanging storage space it is different but it, again it's very fun and very cool big xl vent fan up top and again if you are a bit of a handy capable individual it's not a full like roll in shower it's not a flush floor shower but it's not a massive step up or anything. It is a big space and you have lots of room here to get yourself in and out and uh, to make sure you're steady and stable. I I mean, I don't care if you're handy capable or not. I think that there's a lot of benefit to just a nice big open bath space like this. But over here, nice little touch, little extra cabinet space because why waste anything, right? Of course, there's a privacy shade for that window. Now you're going, why why is this just this big cat like shelf right here? That's because under here is something like your tankless water heater. This has an on-demand water heater so that you can basically take all the hot showers you wanted, never have to like worry about running out of hot water. Of course, I'm worried about running into the door behind me here, which is why the camera lurched just now. Now, that ceiling fan's really tall, so hey, they give you a remote control for it, which is nice because if you're over here in the bedroom and you just want to get some cross-breeze airflow going if there's not enough natural breeze pulling through the RV, the ceiling fan isn't quite doing the job for you, uh, well, you can, you know, grab the remote, activate the bathroom uh, fan, and really force-feed some fresh airflow uh, through this thing. Very different. Very cool. It sure does give you a double take as soon as you look at it, doesn't it? Good shiny high gloss skin. You see there's a power awning mounted right on the face of the slide with all those windows over here on the campsite plus that spaceship aquarium porthole window built into that nose cap. Very different looking. Power tongue jack on the front to help get you hitched um, and a uh, full automatic uh, leveling system when you reach your destination. So most of the time this is probably going to just be parked somewhere. This is a big big trailer to be towing around although it does look like the previous owners may have actually done some towing with it uh based on that little destination map they had they spent more that they spent time in the southwest where they uh uh you know I, I i have a suspicion did mostly parking but maybe they bounced from location to location again i didn't get a chance to chat with them personally now there's a lot of big deep stuff like that entertainment center is really deep 
so they didn't want to waste it. Every little nook and cranny and pocket on the outside here opens up and does something, which is good because destination type trailers like this often lack outside storage. So anywhere they could where they open stuff up, like this is behind that big closet right by the entry door right here. And yeah, 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 it's a little tall, I get it, but it's not wasted space. Like that could easily be like tool chest storage or something like that. The big 16 inch tires look fantastic. More ride CRE 3000 rubber shock dampening suspension. And I, I really wanna point out the suspension of this because a lot of destination trailers do not have enhanced suspension treatments. And this is basically part for part match with a Columbus fifth wheel. So they, they didn't scale that down, which I thought was nice. Now this looks like storage, but this is actually our docking station. And you're going, huh, that's weird. It's all the way back here, huh? You're saying that mostly because you're used to seeing a docking station like this in a fifth wheel all the way at the front of the RV. But folks, where is your campsite hookups? They're back here. They're back in this rear corner. Having that docking center back here is probably the best location for it. But it's a really hard location to do in a fifth wheel, so you just don't typically see it. Look in that rear corner at our tankless water heater. And I believe this graphic, the traveling at our own pace graphic, is something the previous owners added. But it really does kind of fit the feeling, doesn't it? Uh, there is a rear view camera on the back of that as well, which is nice both for traveling as well as for a little bit of destination security. The cargo rack on the back here is far more valuable on a destination trailer than I think a lot of people realize. And where I really learned that was uh, speaking with Mr. Halet. He had some really nice bicycles at a seasonal campsite in northern Michigan. And when he came back to his site after being gone for a couple weeks, his bikes weren't missing, but they weren't where he left them. Somebody went for a little bit of a joy ride. So having the ability to kind of just keep them up and maybe combo locked or chain locked or key locked in place, it will just help keep an honest person honest, I think. Now we saw the first awning all the way on the front super slide, uh, but you see there's a second awning back here. Both awnings are power, LED lights, both awnings have aluminum shrouds on them, real similar to what you might find on a Rockwood Signature trailer here at Halet RV. And back here, even though that is a slide under the awning, it's very short and shallow. Uh, it's still like, you've got tons, obviously, of patio space here. And again, you've got that four step, easy entry, exit, more ride, uh, with the additional handle on there. And once again, like, let me get right up to this thing so you can see, it is just a huge, wide door. Easy, come and go on here. You know where that's gonna be nice? is that if you have like a big platter full of burgers or brats or something like that off the campfire, a wide door means you don't have to try to like tilt and angle that thing to squeeze it through the camper door and risk spilling your dinner. Not saying I've done that, I'm just uh, saying, you know, <laughs> for a friend. <laughs> and here's something that'll be a surprise to probably absolutely no one. The roof looks fantastic. The membrane, the seals, everything looks good. Got the cover on the big Max Air fan back here in the bathroom. She is all right, ship shape, right and tight, guys. Give us a call down here at Advantage One RV Brokers, just down the street from Halet RV. Get you hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance. We can get this thing delivered to your destination. Give us a call, tell us where you live so we can get you a quote. And we'll get it on the truck and heading out there, well, today, tomorrow, whenever you're ready. So take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy camping, everyone.